Brian, Lancaster is a small town, but there are a lot of dreamers here. Those who are starting new dreams and those who are sharing the dreams of their ancestors. Every leaf and rock and all have a spirit. Uh, there's a spirit to the air and the sun. How often do you look at your hands and allow your eyes to see the lines, the cracks, and the story they tell? Big Bear was Neme Patke, which is bear big, so I'm Neme New. It's with his own hands that Keith Brown, Little Bear, shares the story of his Catawba ancestors. Take it and, and we have to form it just like we're formed in life and, and sc scrape away the rough edge and we have to get rid of rough edges. It's a delicate process, taking clay from the earth and turning it into beautiful pieces of pottery. And over at the Native American Studies Center in Lancaster. They're selling pottery on the roadside. There are videos and pictures. My uh, uh, great grandfather and grandmother. Of Keith's family and the legacy he's part of. It's an obligation. It's an art that's rare now. I made my first piece of uh, pottery in 1976. But Keith says he always knew. But most time it's just, hey, let's start making something and see where the spirit leads me, you know, and where it comes to, what it tells me to do. That he would be guided back to the earth, back to home. I chased other things, you know, and, uh, uh, because I was lost without it. It's a lesson about life. Slowly, a lot of times, it evolved into what it needs to be. One of patience and acceptance. It don't always shine a whole lot, <laughs> so, some more than others, uh, and then uh, uh, put it to the test, put it in the fire. And it's through his hands. You can feel Mother Earth, spirit of clay. That the story continues on for the next generation.